Hi, welcome to Guitar Time. I'm Robert Knoll, and we're going to learn a new technique today. You've learned the blue shuffle, and you've gotten good at that, and you understand the fingering, and you've worked on the blues boogie. Next is what we're doing today, and that's a technique of picking and counting uh, called the honky-tonk. So when we do this, this is like basing off the uh, piano players, uh, blues piano players, honky tonk piano players, actually the term, okay? Uh, they would have a bass line that went ba da ba da ba da ba da, and then their right hand would be jamming on the other keys, soloing and chords and stuff. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that same kind of bass line. So when I position my fingers, I'm once again in second position. I've got a finger for the second fret, uh, third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret, but I'm going to be dealing first with the open A and my first finger on the second fret, A string is an E, and my third finger moving to the fourth fret, which is uh, F sharp. So the rhythm here is and one, and two, and three, and four. Usually we've been doing one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, but now we're gonna be doing and one, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four. So you can see my pick going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You need, you need good at that. And saying that when you learn this is really good to do. If you say down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The other thing is to count that. To count it and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Usually when we're doing our shuffles and our boogie, we're doing the down, which is one and two and three and four, or one and two and three and four. But we're not starting on the downbeat. We're actually starting on the and beat of one and one and two, three. That's how we get that honky-tonk feeling, what they call a honky-tonk. Hey, this is public domain now, okay? Uh, this is a technique, okay, a picking. So, here we go. I'll do a 12-bar pattern, and it will go like this, uh, just as an exercise, okay? So, I'm going to start. I'll, I'll be counting, and uh, uh, I'm going to move this pattern from A with the E and the F sharp down to the open D string, and I've got my first finger on A, my third finger going to B, and then I'm going to move back to A and back to D, and I'm finally going to get to E, with the open E and my first finger on B and my third finger on the fourth fret on C sharp. So here we go. I'm gonna start with and one and two and three and four D and two and three and four. Down up back to A. Down up, 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 down up. E, the D, and then our turnaround. The D, back to A, to E. We're back to the beginning. Now, if I did boogie, it's the same thing. I'm doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Notice I'm keeping the third finger down while I play my fourth finger. Likewise, the first finger staying down. Third finger. First, third, fourth. But on the turnaround, we do the honky-tonk shuffle. And then we're back to beginning. So we could be doing shuffle. We could do boogie. Shuffle. Maybe a honky-tonk. Honky Tonk Boogie, Honky Tonk Shuffle, Shuffle, Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk Boogie, Honky Tonk, Turn Around, maybe I shuffle it this time. So it just takes practice. You have to work on it, maybe you start really slow, like I said, counting it, and one, 
and two and three and four and you do it a million times and you keep doing it until you feel good about it and can count it and your pick has to be going down up down up down up down up now if i did it without the feeling it would just be down up down up but we're putting kind of a feel on it a groovy feel down up down up that's accented the up is accented so i'm accenting so you're making changes from A to D, A to E, and later on we can learn to mix this all up and and uh, really have fun with it. And then we can also do this in closed shuffles, which would be and so there are other ways to change the key and keep that honky tonk going. So this is to get you started. Good luck. It's a great technique. And when you can blend that honky-tonk picking style with a shuffle and a boogie pattern and honky-tonk the boogie and honky-tonk the shuffle, we've got something going. It just doesn't sound like you're doing the same thing all the time, okay? We get some variety going. So um, good luck. Be diligent. Uh, have fun practicing. And uh, you want to be consistent. That's what this is about, okay? All right. Well, once again, for guitar time, glad to have you studying. And uh, hey, practice as much as you can.